when you look at the, the landscape of what's happening in all around us, if you look at development, you look at rainforests, you look at oceans, you look at pretty much any of the sort of the most uh, charismatic uh, marine species and terrestrial species, lions, tigers, uh, rhinos, elephants, sharks, whales. If you look at rainforests, you look at reef systems, you look at the oceans. For the most part, the news isn't good. Things that are happening right now on this planet are irreversibly destroying some of the most delicate and most ancient of the resources that we have on, on Earth. So we have to move quickly and we have to move now to put an end to that destruction and we all have to wake up. The challenge is those stories are difficult and depressing. And when people come back from their, their hard day at work, trying to feed their family, trying to put you know, food on the table, trying to pay the bills and you know, things like that, one of the last things they wanna do is hear about how bad it is. So that makes it particularly hard because the message is, 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 is difficult and the urgency is now, yet people are pretty much turned off to that kind of messaging. So we have to get really smart about how we reach people. And for me, what I've realized over the last 15 years is inspiration is probably one of the greatest ways to reignite people and, get, and turn, flip on that light switch. As much as I've, I've had to do a lot of work in the difficult side and I've gone in undercover in triads and mafia-owned places around the world looking at some of the most destructive and heartbreaking fisheries, and I've had to basically use that type of messaging in very small doses. And really, the, sort of the larger scale messaging that I'm using now is inspiration. Taking beautiful imagery and stories of, of success and stories of change about communities making a difference and, and connection imagery, basically taking people and connecting them with these charismatic mean life. Taking that inspiration and then using the global media to bring that outside of conventional conservation channels and put it into mainstream media, put it into fashion, put it, push, put it into pop culture. And basically, instead of looking at talking at, you know, the five people in the room who care about conservation, I'm try trying to talk to the entire room the, and talk to them in a way that they understand. And so I think if we're thinking about conservation today, we have to rethink the model entirely. We need to move away from, you know, the animals and the wildlife model and move back to the human connection and our part of that system. And the way we do it is we have to basically jump forward into modern day pop culture inspiration, passion, fashion, and make these animals a part of buildings out in the street and in, into fashion magazines and things like that. And I believe that if we can make that connection to everyday people, we're going to turn on the billion people and rather than depress them, we're going to get them super passionate about becoming part of the solution.